guys, it's Rachel here with Sons of Tempo County Corso. So I'm here with your pup date. I'm sorry it's been so long, but um, I um, have just been kind of busy and I really haven't had the opportunity um, to kind of get in here and mess with the babies. Um, so yeah. So here they are. Um, they are a super quiet bunch, I'll tell you that much. Um, oh, look, somebody woke up. <clears throat> hey there. Hello. Hello. Hey, hello. Hi. Hi. So, they're not the fattest bunch of puppies. Um, cashmere, um, has, uh, has had quite the load with these guys because there's so dang many of them and it's never easy to feed that many puppies. So this is a litter that I'm going to probably, um, try to get onto solid foods as quick as possible. Hey. To try to take that, to take that load off of her. Hey, look at the mirrors. Hello. 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 So no personalities are coming out yet. They're all still just very um, sleepy and uh, not really doing too much. Hey. Hey. You're a little girl. I know you are. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Come here, honey. <laughs> hey. Hello. Um. So anyway, some are definitely fatter than others. Um. You're a little skinny one. You're a little skinny one. Um, I did actually try supplementing with, um, with a bottle yesterday, but they were not having it. Would not eat from the bottle. Um, a lot harder than you think it is. Hey there, cutie. Um, I know, honey, I know. Yeah. Oh, no. I know. You know. Um, probably do some alone time with their mama. And like I said, really try to get them um, to eat some some foods. I know your mommy's not in here though. No, she's not. Your mommy's not in here though. Um, but otherwise, I mean, they're all good. Um, so it's not gonna um, it's not gonna hurt them to not be the fattest puppies in the world right now. So as long as they're getting fed, as long as they're typically the rule is as long as they're quiet, you're you know you're in good shape. Um, but anyway, but I did try supplementing last night. Bottle wouldn't work, so then I was using, um, a dropper, um, and that really, um, wasn't working either. And so, I'm gonna try to just kind of put down, a lot of times what they do is, um, <clears throat> when the mom eats, they start to kind of pay attention to that, and they then will follow her. So, what I may end up doing is, I'm kind of making... Um, they have a, they have a formula. It's like after the milk, it's like a second stage feeding. And I may, um, I may do that. I may try that. So I mean, you can see this guy right here. He's not, he's not suffering. Um, so some of them, you know, some of them are definitely getting the lion's share of the food. And, um, unfortunately it's not possible for me to be here every single feeding. I know. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's not possible for me to be here every single feeding to make sure that um that the that ones are getting their food but <clears throat> but anyway but um i'm gonna start like i said trying to move them over just to make sure that they um are getting um all their good nutrition so yeah um yes i know i know you're super cute you're super cute yes you are you're super cute 
Um, so this is a female. I know you are. Yes, I do. I know you are. This is a male, big old red male right here. Come here, let me see you. Yeah, red male. Hey. Here you are. Red male. I know. Yeah, I know. Um. And then I know I have the big monster blue male. Um, pretty sure... That's either the black male or this one is. This one might be. Um, are you the black male? Let me see. Are you? You got them lip. Yep, you are. You got them legs. So we have the black male. He's got a white chest on him. Oh, boop, 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 boop. You're all right. You're all right. All right. Well, he's not going to hold still. There you are. There you are. Um, and then, um... Yeah, I know. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, I think that so there has to be a female over there, and uh, so anyway, yeah. Um, this is a male here, and then the Formentino is a male. I know that. I know, Shogar. Don't you worry. I know. I know. Here's your pack. So um, anyway, so yeah. So that's all of them. Um, you know, like I said, I've been um, I've been keeping an eye on them, but like I said, I haven't had the ability to come in and do video yet because I've just been super busy, super busy. But um, but I did want to take the opportunity because I know everybody was asking to go ahead and do a little pup date for you guys, and uh, um, if you're interested in a puppy out of this litter. I do have three female spots left and um, you have to um, submit an application on my website and then once you filled out that application you have to follow up with a phone call and then um, just let me know and then we can go over your application together and um, we can get you in on this litter. Um, they'll be three weeks old on Friday. Typically that's whenever I start um, introducing um, solid foods anyway. And, um, and so anyway, so, uh, so that's about the way to do that. There is no breeding rights. Um, so don't even ask. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I have quite a few females. So, um, that's a female, that's a female, that's a female. Um, yep. That's a female, that's a female. And that's a female. So I think we have at least one black female, a, a chestnut brindle female, a blue brindle female. I think that's just going to be a solid blue female. And a regular brindle female. And, and that girl... It's okay, it's okay. Come here, come here. Come, come lay with your family. Um, she's a brindle. Yeah. I can see some striping on her side. So yeah, super dark brindle. Um all right, so yeah. So um so anyway, so there's quite a bit of variety in here. Um like I said, we have um three female deposits already. And then we have three females left. All the males are spoken for at this time. Um, and um, yeah, we did get quite the variety of colors. Um, not going to lie. I, it's always hard for me to let these guys go. I always want to keep one. Um, and so, yeah, so don't, um, don't even leave me that possibility. Because <laughs> it's always like... Like Trinity, that's how I ended up with Trinity, you know, the first pick female person, um, it didn't work out and, um, I got left with her and I was like, well, I guess I'm keeping her. <laughs> so I didn't even try to sell her and I'm actually really thankful I didn't because the reality is, is that, um, with Cashmere being retired, I really did, um, I really did need her. I don't want to miss out on, um, on these genetics, even though I have Blondie. Um, I would really like to, to maintain 
um, that in my program. And I did speak with the guy who has the blue male from Sangue Magnifica. He's in New York. So um, we spoke with him, A-OK'd it. So when Trinity, Trinity, let me see, she was born in April. So May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. We're almost in February. So she's almost 10 months old. So she should be going into heat anytime between now and 12 months and then now in the next two months. So once she goes into heat, six months from then, we're gonna breed her because we breed on the second heat. So I'm gonna drive to Virginia um, when we think she's really close. And um, Reese and I are gonna drive together to New York. We're gonna breed Trinity to that male and then I will actually bring her back at that point. So it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna try to make a little vacation out of it. And yeah, that's what's going on. So anyway, um, I'm going to go get their mother. I just let her outside to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to go get her, bring her back inside, um, probably um, take the um, skinnier puppies that are in here and let them get some solo feeding time. And um, yeah, hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk at you later. Bye.